Hi, welcome back to Impossible. Next up, I have Leo. Where are my possible Leos at? So let's get straight into your reading, Leos. Okay, the time now is 8.36. So 9 plus 8 is 17. 17 is 8. So some of you guys may be dealing with a Libra or Taurus or have rising moon of Venus in Libra or Taurus or your North Node. Okay, so let's begin. Let's begin. Spirit of the Light, give me two cards to start off Leo's reading. Yeah, the hermit. Okay, so right now you guys are in spiritual solitude and isolation. You're not speaking to anybody. You're ghosting people out. You're just laying low at this time. Okay? Yes. Yeah. You're searching for truth. You're in a, some of you guys are in a dark space, but it's like you're going deep within. Okay? And you just, quite frankly, don't want to be bothered by anybody. Some of you guys may be dealing with a Virgo. Yeah, temperance, Sagittarius. Okay, right now you're trying to balance out your life. Okay, balance out your emotions, balance out, balance out your life. But doing so in isolation. Okay, trying to find harmony in your life and self-control. But patience, everything is in moderation. Some of you guys may be drinking, slow that shit down. But really, really, really deep contemplation going on here and it's like all a part of, of like you self-reflection yes there's a lot of self-reflection going on here introspection and inner guidance and praying for answers and yeah mm -hmm. isolated isolated lay low you're laying low yeah, three of swords. Some of you guys are still dealing from... Uh, some of you guys are dealing with heartbreak at this time. Okay? Heartbreak, depression, third-party situations. Okay? Yes. Grief, suffering. Some of you guys may be dealing with someone that passed away. Or some of you guys may be going through a divorce. Okay, some of you guys may be, um, you know, it may be, have been a third-party situation where somebody stepped out in the connection or just too many people involved. But whatever it is, some of you guys may be going for surgery as well. Okay, but, you know, you're grieving at this time. It's like some of you guys are just still healing and grieving and just want to be left alone. Okay? Silent. You're suffering in silence. There you go. Yeah, page of swords. Okay. You may have someone spying on you at this time. There may be gossip surrounding you. Okay. A lot of people trying to get in your business, but you're ghosting them and blocking them out. Okay. Yes. But you're keeping an eye on things as well. Okay. And this having to do with your mental health. This is having to do with your not only your physical, but mental health. Okay. Yes. Who is this? The tower, yeah. Just shit is hitting the fan of your life at this time. I want to see who's this page of swords. But you just feel like things are crumbling around you. Okay? But after the tower comes the rainbow. Okay, so there's a few challenges. <gasps> Excuse me. Whoa. There's a few challenges that's in your life uh, at this current time. Whether it be like, you know. Losing an apartment, still grieving a lost loved one, going through a divorce, a breakup, third-party situations, feeling abandoned like nobody's there for you, to fe being feeling fulfilled, okay? Yes. So, let's see who's spying on you here. Justice. Some of you guys may be going to court, okay? There may be some type of legal actions taking place at this time, Okay. Libra. Yeah, Seven of Swords. Whoa. Okay. <sighs> There's maybe some type of deceit and dishonesty and betrayal going on behind your back. Okay. Again, some of you guys may be going, uh, getting a divorce because of some type of deceit and dishonesty with your current mate or, yeah, you finding out stuff. Yeah, there's competition. There's competition. There's a power struggle here. Okay. Too many people involved in this situation. Challenges. But defending yourself. Defending oneself. 
Some of you guys may work in the law. Okay. Yes, things are unbalanced in your life at this time. You're trying to find balance, but it's like chaos. And every time you turn around, it's some different shit going on or happening. Okay. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. Some of you guys may be married out there. Or this may be somebody that's married looking at you that's, that's in competition with you. Okay. Secretly in competition with you. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Okay. This person may be older, a mother figure, uh, a wife. Okay. Yes, this may be at work as well. Yes. But this person is like trying to get on your level. Okay. Yeah. Some way, somehow. But this person is deceptive. Okay. This person is deceptive. You may have had an argument, an argument with this person, Five of Swords. Okay. But this person is like all up in your business. A lot of swords here. A lot of backstabbing, gossiping. Yeah. With the Five of Swords, this may be some type of illegal shit going on. I'm just saying, careful, okay? Because with the Five of Swords and the Justice card, some of your kids may be in trouble getting locked up. You may be in, into illegal shit. This person may be, but just be careful with the type of business that you're getting into, okay? But with the Five of Swords, it's like nobody wants to lose here. Yes. Standing your ground, arguments, fights, not getting along, whoa. Backstabbing. Yeah, Ace of Wands in reverse. Missed opportunity, Seven of Wands. Very defensive against these people. But it's like delays. Okay? A lack of ambition. Risky business. Be careful with risky business or what you invest in at this time. But you, you keep your guards up. Yeah, some of you guys are suffering with burdens at this time. Burdens after burdens after burdens that you're trying to release. And people just keep adding shit to your plate. Okay? Yeah, some of you guys need help. Okay? So Spirit is asking you to pray, stay prayed up at this time. All right? But definitely there is a friend or a mother-in-law or a sister-in-law or somebody here that is in competition uh, with you talking about you backstabbing you and just adding shit to your plate that you don't need okay could be your own sibling all right yeah four wands in reverse well okay there may be talks of a dysfunctional household or marriage okay some of you guys are married and planning to leave a home environment there's an instability there Okay. Conflicts in the home, fighting, not getting along. Possibly due to a, a, a third party, somebody stepped out. Yeah, Knight of Cups in reverse. You're disappointed. There's a lot of jealousy surrounding this. Okay, you guys, some of you guys are fickle. Okay, you're not happy with where you're at. You're not happy at this point in your life. Okay, you're not happy. Okay, but it's learning how to love yourself again. But right now, you know, taking the time out to grieve and to heal. But it's like somebody is not allowing you to heal and to grieve. So you're just like ghosting people, like just falling off the face of the earth. Okay, yes. It's like you just want to escape. Some of you guys are drinking, slow that shit down, or smoking. Yeah, the hangman. Yeah, you're at a standstill at this time. Okay? You're gaining a new pers perspective and you're releasing. Okay, Pisces? Yeah. It's like for some of you guys, this marriage, this home situation is over. Okay? It's over. Yes. A lot of nostalgia going on here, but you're... You, you know, it's like with the Six of Cups, it's like reminiscing of the good times or, you know, these are friends that you know from the past. I do see a reunion taking place, a gathering of some sort, people bringing gifts, okay? But, you know, it's just, you just, you guys are just like in isolation and nostalgic, okay? But healing through, trying to heal those past, trying to heal through your past. Okay, trying to heal through your past. Trying to heal the past. Yeah, you see? People backstabbing you, trying to heal the past. Okay? 
you feel defeated okay some of you guys are dealing with a painful ending in your life something that took place that was tragic that happened in your life you still trying to cope with okay people can't keeping their eye on you people are concerned about you but right now it's just you just want to be left alone okay you guys are in really in a dark space whoever i'm reading for is like the dark night of the soul okay so you really need to stay prayed up at this time guys but you have a lot of snakes around you yeah the magician okay spirit is trying to give you the willpower to continue to go to continue to keep going okay but you feel like with the magician that there was a lot of mind games being played here okay dishonesty with people and nobody truly had your back even your own family so who do you trust you don't trust you don't trust anybody you just trust yourself now because you don't you, you don't even trust your spouse if you're married you don't trust anybody not your sister not your brother not anybody okay yeah the magician is gemini the tower is scorpio okay let's see what's the ending here yeah you feel like moving away but you know there's unresolved issues and you're still stuck in the past nostalgia still trying to heal from the past a past event that just happened or happened okay but you can't move on it's an emotional baggage here that you need to release and heal from and that takes time okay the dark night of the soul takes time it's not easy yeah, six of wands, but I do see you gaining in victory, gaining your accolades, okay? I do see some type of engagement for some of you guys, a promotion, okay? Some of you guys are out there, okay? But no matter what you're going through, you're still rising on top. That's the whole thing. You're still coming out on top. You know, you're not letting people get the best of you, okay? You're not allowing people to get the best of you. So you're still coming out as a champion, Okay, very good. Yeah, and you're moving forward, the chariot cancer. Okay, you're moving forward. You're moving forward victorious, okay, no matter what is going on around you. Yes, it may be shitty, but you're not allowing people to rain on your parade, basically. Yeah, page of wands in reverse, you maybe have received some type of bad news. Okay, yes. What is this? You may have found out about your spouse cheating, a home, yeah, that left you in your head. Okay. Mm -hmm. But Spirit wants you to reach out for help. Okay. Some of you guys may be dealing with shame and secrets that you're holding on to, but you're, getting a fr you're gaining a fresh sense of hope. Okay. Yes. You guys were de de are depressed. Okay. Yeah. Nine of Wands in reverse. So you guys feel like giving up. Okay. You feel like your faith is being tested at this time. Okay. And it's exhausting. You're exhausted. You're burned out. You're not sleeping well. You feel stuck in your head, stuck in your mind. Some of you guys um, are dealing with somebody in jail. Some of you guys may be locked up. Okay, some of you guys may work uh, in the law, but you're just stuck in your head, overthinking, stuck in a situation, want to break free. Okay, you're, in the, you're fighting your inner demons at this time, overthinking things. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune in reverse. You feel like everything is failing around you. There's You're going through your karma. You know, these are unwelcome changes. You know, again, it's possibly due to uh, a third-party situation, cheating, or somebody passing away close to you. But whatever it is, is you just feel like your life is crumbling down around you. Okay. Yeah, the Hierophant in reverse, a broken marriage. 
Okay. Yes. You want to break free out of a broken marriage, out of a broken home. But instead of people helping, they're talking about it, Taurus. Yeah. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. But some of you guys, you guys are not single. But your money, it's your money situation and your stability that you're concerned about. Okay. You may be in a, in a connection, in a marriage where somebody acts single. Okay. Yes. They're jealous, envious, materialistic, and they live beyond their means. Okay. It takes a toll on you. Some of you guys may be living beyond your means as well. Okay. Careful with that. All right, but the Ten of Wands in reverse. Burdens are going to be lifted, okay? There's a few delays, but Spirit wants you to rest and recuperate, okay? It's an overload. You feel overload. Overworked and over, yeah, stressed. Yeah, you see? Five of Wands. Inner conflict, challenges, obstacles, a power struggle, but rivalries. Too many people in your business or trying to get in your business. Yeah, page of cups. But I do see a new love. Okay, happy surprises on the horizon for you. Okay, an invitation. All right, so there may be some type of gathering taking place. And you're going to meet somebody new. Okay, yeah. But you're not going to know what to do here. You're going to be juggling because some of you guys are already in a relationship. Or this person. <laughs> just saying. But you're not going to know what to do because at this point you guys are still healing. Okay, yes. Some of you guys are still healing, but you're going to have options here. Yeah, but you see, you got your boundaries up. <sighs> you're maintaining control. You're not ready for love, okay? I do see some type of form of communication coming online, yes, okay? But you're holding back. You don't really want to talk to people or get to know people at this moment, yeah. This may be, uh, be careful, because I do see some type of shady business here, some type of theft, okay, somebody plotting, possibly a queen of cups in reverse, a baby mother of some sort. Again, this person is coming in, okay? This person is emotionally manipulative, a narcissist, okay, codependent, needy, sneaky. So be careful with this person trying to come in to, to find out your business. But I see you blocking this person out regardless, okay? Because, again, you guys are withdrawn, trying to find happiness. You guys are emotionally disconnected, okay? Yes, trying to find true love and happiness, okay? And this could be in a family dynamic that you're unhappy, okay? But I do see true love, you know, ten of cups, your ten of cups being restored, okay? Yes. Some of you guys may be speaking to a lawyer or seeking a lawyer, seeking legal advice. Mm -hmm. There's a lack of teamwork here. Okay, so you may feel, again, you have people that are not on your side, not on your team. Okay, yes, codependency, addictions here. It could be shopping, lust, money. Yeah, but you just feel like these people, these people... They don't have the best interest for you, basically. Okay? And I do see shady business. So careful. Okay? Because I do see some type of illegal shit going on here. Yeah. But again, after the tower comes the rainbow. Everything being restored. But you just, you know... Just lay low at this time and heal. You guys have to heal, Leos. Okay? This could be over a child as well.
Yeah, Verge. Okay, about to reveal, confess. Somebody wants to have a sit-down conversation with you. Okay, possibly invite you for tea, coffee, to get on the same page. Somebody has a magnetic pull or somebody is coming in that you're going to have instant attraction with, a twin flame soulmate. Yeah, financial support. Again, some of you guys may be going to court. Okay, child support, alimony, government. Um, well, getting locked up over some shady business. Be careful. Yeah, but TikTok, TikTok. You're giving yourself time. You're going through the purification process. Okay, but time is running out for people, places, and things. <laughs> or this person. Okay. Yeah, there may be children involved. Okay, like I said, children and, you know, be careful because I do see somebody taking you to child support. It's just a matter of time. Yeah, there was some type of entrapment that happened here. Some type of pregnancy, okay, that somebody, you know, kept the baby for money, okay, to keep you in their life. Yeah, but you see, things are not moving forward. Somebody's keeping an eye on you on social media, making fake accounts to keep an eye on you. Yeah, grip. But you feel held down. It's like too many responsibilities, too many things on you at one time. Okay? Yes. And whoever this mother, I, I do see the, the Queen of Pentacles, whoever this wife or mother is or whatever, she's like, you know, a, a part of this entrapment situation okay possibly you know children you know is your your own child going through this okay and that's for some of you guys is your own child that's going through this and yeah. yeah tragedy of forbidden love but right now you're remaining silent but there's a tragedy that happened where there is love or you know but you know, you're, you're remaining silent and you're trying to heal at this time. Okay, you're trying to heal from this. Hold on, guys. Sorry about that. So, I'm going to find out um, if my phone volume is high and low. I have no control over that. Some people complain about the volume, but I have no control over that. Okay. So, yeah. So, there was some type of entrapment here. Okay. I don't see you moving forward with this. I don't see. I see there's delays in traveling as well. Okay, but it's like you guys are isolated. You guys, you know, some of you guys are unemployed or, you know, losing a job. But I do see things being restored. But right now, the Spirit wants you to take time to yourself. Okay, rest and recuperate. Okay, I want to see who's this magnetic pole. Let me see what's going to happen in this financial case. So what's this confession about? Possibly somebody confessing that, you know, they're pregnant. You're finding out that they're pregnant or, yeah. But let's see, let's see, because, <laughs> yeah, three of pentacles. Somebody wants to work on this. Somebody has a lingering resentment for the way they treated you, okay? I do see, you know, somebody backstabbed you, all right? Somebody wants to compromise here, resolve the situation, okay? Because there's a group of them that wants to have a sit-down conversation, and I do see an invitation, okay, of some sort, because I do see a lot of people trying to get in your business at this time. Yeah, you see, they want to bring balance back into this situation, you know, harmony, where did things go wrong? Yeah, okay, with the Eight of Swords, you're releasing yourself and you're gaining a new perspective, you're facing your fears, and you're taking, you're taking back control of your life, okay? But there was somebody here, there was a team that was trying to work against you, okay? Because I did see entrapment, forbidden love, heartbreak, you know, and this is too close for home. So maybe you guys know the person in particular who... Whoever, you know, if it was cheating or 
you know, involved here. You know the person, okay? It's like too close for comfort here. Yeah, and a baby involved here, okay? So this was some type of pregnancy here, okay? But you're freeing yourself from this, okay? For some of you guys, this is not even your child. But I do see, you know, <clears throat> You know, somebody wants to bring the love back into this connection and how can we restore balance back into this, you know, love and the, the balance back into this connection. Okay. But somebody wanted to leave you stuck with a baby, but you're breaking free. Okay, because it could be more than one person that's the father of this child. Okay. Just saying. All right. But if there's a child involved here, somebody wants to sit down and speak about how you guys can work together as a team for the child. Okay. That's for some of you guys. Yeah. The fool. Okay. But new beginnings. And I do see a new relationship developing. Okay. As well for you guys. But you're get you guys give yourself new beginnings moving expanding okay taking a leap of faith somebody wants to take a leap of faith tower okay this news this baby news may hit you out of nowhere <laughs> that's for some of you guys yeah the magician in reverse you felt like you were deceived okay tricked into getting someone pregnant this is for some because it's entrapment or somebody getting you pregnant six of pentacles okay Yes. There was breadcrumbing here. This wasn't like something. This was like. This wasn't something serious. Okay. But with the Six of Pentacles. It's like. Now. Somebody is cashing in. You know. <clears throat> a return on investment. Okay, some of you guys may be getting your child support as well. Like somebody that was denying your child. Now you're, you know, getting your money, you know. Somebody, invest, you know, giving back. To this child. Yeah, there's a queen of pentacles involved here. There may be a mother, a mother-in-law here. Some of you guys are struggling financially. Struggling. Okay, your family is helping you out. Okay. Yeah, there may be a King of Wands here, somebody that came in playing games. Okay, King of Wands is your energy, but you're taking control back of your life. Okay? Somebody was dishonest here. Mm -hmm. Somebody was dishonest here. Okay. But it's like doing your part, doing the right thing, okay? Doing the right thing when it comes to a child or this situation, doing the right thing. But there is a couple here that's going to make sure that, you know, that this is situated. They're working together. Okay. I do see you guys abundant here but it's something fishy going on here I'm, I'm trying to put my finger on it but there's something fishy going on here okay so it's either you guys are married and it's your child that's going through this or vice versa It's like doing what's morally correct here. But you felt like, you know, for some of you guys, if this is your story, you felt like you were lied to. Okay? With this entrapment here. Some of you guys are, are trying to balance, balance out your own checkbook. Okay? And now having to give back into a surprise child or baby that you didn't know about that you're just hearing about that's what some of you guys so it's like 
what. But for others, somebody wants to restore the love back into this connection or resolve the situation between you and them. Yeah. Now see how this financial support is going to go. Yeah, I do see a win, okay, when it comes to financial support. So you guys are going to be winning some type of money. Uh, yeah, an outcome that you're going to love. Okay, or things breaking even. Yeah, six of cups in reverse. Somebody is still stuck on the past here, creating fake profiles. Okay, they're still stuck on you. They can't move forward, but you're moving forward. Yeah, they have a sleepless night. Okay, traumas and grief, depressed. Yeah. Okay. Challenges and conflicts, they feel like, you know, you have other people that you're entertaining. This person is like stuck on you. They can't, they can't leave you alone. This person may live a distance. Okay. I do see you moving away to common waters. Okay. Yeah. There's gossip and scandal going on around this. Okay. I don't see you with this person, but this person feels like, you know, they still have a thing for you. They can't move forward. Okay. But yeah. You're moving forward. You're catching people out in their lives. Okay? Truth being revealed here. Okay? Yeah. Truth being revealed. Dishonesty. Arguments over, you know, somebody's lies and trickery and foolery. Okay? Third party situation. Yeah, you're setting yourself free. Breaking free. Yeah. People working against you. Okay? Tower. Wow. This is like a reading that is like, whoa. Okay, some of you guys may be coming home from jail, but you're getting a new perspective and looking in a new direction to travel away from the bullshit, away. You just want to be left alone, the lovers, yeah, somebody fell in love here, but you're balancing out your life, your love life, your life, putting the love back into yourself, the emperor, okay? Some of you guys are just playing the field at this time, doing, you know, just playing the field, okay? I do see you guys in separation, but you guys are not prepared for love at this time. Some of you guys, yes, you guys have fallen in love with someone, but for some of you guys, it's like, just want to be left alone and healing. Yeah, healing. But somebody here is in love with you. There is new love coming in. Okay, there is. I'm getting tired. I'm sorry, guys, but let's see who's this magnetic pull. Yeah, but that's how you feel. You feel tired. You feel burned out. You feel like you're not getting enough rest. You feel like people are in your business, and you just want to lay low. You're just isolating oneself. You don't want to talk. Yeah, the sun. Oh, this person makes you very happy. This person may look at your photos. This may be a Leo, like yourself. Yeah, King of Swords. This person may be in a military, police officer, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Yeah, this person never expressed to you how they felt. This person is like stone cold, but yeah, you make this person happy. Yeah, Seven of Swords. They may have been some type of deception, trickery, dishonesty here. I don't like it. Okay. Yes. Oh, God, the King of Pentacles. Some of you guys may be married. I do see that this was just a sexual thing. But, you know, it's like, you know, some of you guys are stuck in a situation or vice versa. And this person fell in love. I mean, they're in love. They're in love. <laughs> You're in love. They're in love. But, again, you guys may know each other. I mean, this is, yeah, Seven of Wands in reverse. Somebody let their guards down here. You may have worked with this person once upon a time, okay, but things are not working out um, in your current relationship or in their current relationship. I do see a divorce, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but this person keeps their eye on you here. Whoa, okay? They're the emperor. This person is big willy. This person possibly have their own business, a divorcee, a father figure, or a mother figure, or a business owner, but... 
top notch shit, okay? But yeah, they look at you, they inspire you, they, you know, but they need to close out something first, or you need to close out something first. But they can't, they, 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 you feel it, they feel it, okay? Forbidden love, all right? Let's see what this person has to say. I got to close out your reading, guys, but you know what? Let me get um, a moon card here. Yeah, work through your fears, okay? And that's what you're doing in solitude. Some of you guys' moon may be in Scorpio. Okay, you're working through your fears. You just want to be left alone right now, okay? You just want to be left alone. And you're following your intuitions. You're very mysterious. Yeah, but happiness is definitely on the horizon of... Uh, <laughs> Somebody new, uh, a new love is coming in. Somebody that's in sync with you. Okay, yes. Mm -hmm. But definitely true love. There's a magnetic pull, but yin-yang energy I'm picking up. Okay, Leos, but definitely need to take the time out to heal. This is all about healing. Yeah, Mercury, Gemini, and Virgo. You may be dealing with a Gemini or Virgo, but very analytical. Um, you know, communication is key, but right now you don't want to communicate. Some of you guys uh, communicate just to communicate, just to, you know, but it's all about reasoning and being practical at this time. Yes. Yeah, some of you guys are still dealing with inner childhood wounding. Okay, feeling insecure and abandoned, feeling lost. The lovers, yeah. Some of you guys are married, but you have a decision to make in terms of love. Okay, floodgates, abundance is definitely on the horizon success and prosperity okay <laughs> yeah you see what i told you guys but you guys are, are in the dark night of the soul okay but definitely you have somebody that's in love with you here um there's good news surrounding your circumstances again after the tower comes the rainbow but i do see you know go play the lotto but i do you know right now you guys have to go through the dark it's 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 never easy you have to heal okay and that's healing throughout forgiving your past forgiving yeah it's 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 not easy okay guys it's not okay but you're working through your fears okay facing your fears all right yes this person may be married too. You both may be married. I'm just saying, but there is love here. This person, you're, again, you make this person happy, okay? <laughs> okay, I'm just saying. All right? Um, let me pull some cards to see what this person has to say. And then I'm going to close out your reading because right now, you know, There's a karmic here. Yeah, you see court and legal issues going on here. Some of you guys are going through a divorce. Do you want me? So this person is coming, you know, possibly getting a divorce and coming back to you. Do you want me? Or vice versa. But, you know, yeah, grateful for the spiritual lesson. You trigger this person's spiritual awakening and they're triggering yours. Okay? Yes. I think about you day and night. This person is manifesting you. You possibly feel this person in your energy. You possibly are thinking about them day and night as well. Okay? I'm afraid my family won't accept you. I'm telling you, this is too close for comfort. And I do see uh, a person here that's in the middle that don't mind their business. I know you feel the same way. So this person knows that you love them or care about them as much as they love and care about you. Okay? Yes, this is Twin Flames. <laughs> but there's a third party interference here. I'm telling you. Okay? Nightmares. Yeah, this person is up in their head. 
about you about this okay this is my new deck if you guys want to purchase it please email me i only have like 30 decks left yeah but you're the apple of their eye they feel like this is an unbreakable bond between you but they're heartbroken and crushed they may have broken your heart as well okay but okay Okay, let me put some working cards here for you guys. Yeah, destiny. So spirit wants you to, you know, um, whatever led you to this point in your life, it was to direct you to your highest purpose. So again, follow your heart. Whatever your heart is calling you to do, career-wise, okay? Just say yes to the things you think you can't do. Okay, some of you guys are fashion designers out there or trying to get into, you know, modeling or trying to design your own fashion line at this time, fashionistas, okay, yes, but celebration, I told you, there's going to be some type of celebration invitation coming up here, um, celebrating your accomplishments, a promotion, a winning court, the past, yeah, that's what is happening now, you're reflecting a lot on the past, the old days, trying to heal, but, you know, um, you're going to be receiving some money from the past from your past good deeds okay yeah but comfort you're trying to find that comfort again but right now you're just not there but spirit wants you to take action and just say yes okay take action in your life okay yes signing contracts be careful what you sign some guys are ceos supervisors out there okay Yes, administrative management roles, but again, applying for new jobs, and I do see corporate jobs, okay? But yeah, let me just get one last card because uh, this is all about healing, my loves. This is all about healing. Let me get one of these. false narrative yeah okay so right now you guys are the devil and the angel it's a power struggle this is the dark night of the soul okay discernment use discernment but again what you tell yourself is what manifests into reality so you have to remain positive through these dark times your emotions could be you know you one minute you happy one minute you sad one minute you crying one minute like that so learn how to tame your emotions during these you know through this spiritual awakening be mindful of the story you're telling yourself. Having a negative narrative is destructive and simply not true. Stop listening to your ego-based story that is laced with falsehoods and old conditioning. For every negative thing you say, counteract that by saying three positive words. See the truth of who you are, which is wise, magnificent, and radiant. Okay, so start speaking positive. I am successful. I am abundant. I am a superstar. I am handsome. I am beautiful. Like that. So 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 start speaking positive affirmations over your life. Okay, let me get a money card and then I'm closing out your reading. Um Leo's. Wings. Yeah, yeah. This is what this is all about. It's not easy. The dark night of the soul. Rising above money issues. Business taking off. Profit. Career. Spiritual work. So you could do what I do. Uh, you know, tower readings or, you know, influencers, enlightening people, sharing your wisdom with others. Life purpose, destiny, and your mission. So that's what the dark night of the soul is all about. So pay attention to your dreams and visions and signs and synchronicities. Read your Bible. Read uplifting books, listen to the word, stay prayed up at this time. It's not easy. Okay? Yes. Anyway, I love you guys. I'm possible. You're possible. Your girl Tosh. I'm out.